Meredith, it certainly could be. It could be. Uh, we know that Bernie Sanders is enormously popular from his uh, presidential run a couple of years ago. So we'll see how that could do uh, for Gillum as we head into these last couple of weeks of the campaign. Let's take you inside the CFE arena here at UCF for this rally. This was actually the second stop for Sanders today. The 2016 presidential candidate was in Tampa earlier and actually endorsed Gillum several weeks ago. He believes Gillum is the best choice among the five Democrats running for governor because he likes his plan to improve education. He wants to make sure the wealthiest corporations pay more taxes, and Sanders thinks Gillum can stand up to Trump when it comes to caring for immigrants and Puerto Ricans displaced from the uh, island by last year's hurricanes. The other side has the money. Andrew has the people. But that doesn't work unless the people come out and vote. We're tired of Republican light. We want people who are going to run on their values, on their beliefs, and flip this state blue this cycle. That's what I believe. Sanders also backs Gillum because he calls him the true candidate who supports health care and Medicare for all, raising the minimum wage and investing in sustainable energy. Coming up all new at five, we'll not only hear from Gillum and Sanders, we'll also hear from a couple of other gubernatorial candidates that were in Central Florida today, as well as some of the folks that attended this event. Live at UCF, Greg Fox, Washington News.